Bill Cook was really fond of saying there's nothing more important than giving someone a job. And he certainly did that. And now even after his death, the company he created is finding new ways to make people whole. Tonight on Only in Indiana, our Kevin Rader and photographer Bill Riley explain in their story called Second Chance. Nicole Cowens could hardly believe her good fortune. Clad in a blue sterilization gown, you could never tell that just a few years ago she was pregnant with child, without a high school degree, and without direction in her life. It was kind of scary, but at the same time, I was like, okay, I'm 21 years old. I got to get out of mom's house with my baby, and then I was pregnant at my, with my second child at the time. So I just had to do what a grown-up, responsible person is supposed to do. So she left Chicago for Indiana, where a help wanted ad just caught her eye. And I thought I was like reading wrong at first, so I opened it up and then I read more about it and they said that, you know, they help you get your GED, all you have to do is like go to school four days out the week. And I was like, that sounds good, you know. It was an ad for the Pathway program at Cook Medical. It was not a handout, but a hand up for the 5,000 Hoosiers without high school degrees currently in Moreau County alone. So we created a program where uh, they can come work part time at Cook and then in the morning and then in the afternoon they go uh, with no charge to them they can go get their high school equivalency over about a seven week period and then they get to come back and have a full time job at Cook. But Nicole saw more than an ad she saw an opportunity so she took it. And, I mean there's been plenty of times that I wanted to give up but my teacher she's like you know Nicole you got it just you know don't beat yourself up about it you got it it's gonna be okay I believe you can pass it and just her telling me those simple words, because I've never had a teacher tell me that when I was in high school. So just her telling me those simple words gave me the strength to keep going. She attended Monroe County adult education classes at Ivy Tech, just up the street from Cook. She's left me quite a few messages on my phone saying how much I gave her confidence and that she wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for me. And so it just really, she touched my heart. I heard Bill say one time, the greatest thing you can do for somebody is give them a job. I don't think no other company would have thought to do something like this, especially to help people who don't have. I think it's just amazing that they did something like this to help other people. When you go back and you balance your family and life and bills, and you go back to school, and you can see the change every day in that person's life, what more can you ask for? Now she said to graduate with her degree. And it just changes their life for them and their children and their family. So you can see the impact immediately. Her children certainly did when they noticed she wasn't wearing her fast food uniform. When I told them I was going to work and then they realized I didn't have on like my uniform. <laughs> they was like, Mommy, well, I thought you said you're going to work. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to work, but I don't work there anymore. No, now she works here. In Bloomington, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Outwitness News. I love that, how yeah. the legacy continues mm -hmm. there. Right now, Nicole, the 17th student to successfully complete that pathway program. Yeah, it changed her life. Mm -hmm. Way to right. go. And yeah. her children, too. You bet. That's right. For you sure. know